Today's review is on Cartoon Network's newest show, Teen Titans Go. Yes, the Teen Titans are back in a new series, this time in their chibi forms. And the show is pretty much all about comedy and not really much action like in the original series. My actual thoughts on Teen Titans Go? I think it's a good show to me. Uh, it has its funny moments. Honestly, to be honest, I thought that the Teen Titans Go would still have the original Teen Titans animation and still have the same action and funny moments as well. But with the Titans going on bigger adventures and teaming up with um, Speedy, uh, Bumblebee, Aqualad, etc., etc., maybe seeing where Starfire and Robin's relationship goes, uh, Tara maybe uh, getting her memory back, remembering Beast Boy, and if Raven will finally laugh at Beast Boy's jokes. I don't mind the comedy in this series, nor the animation. The animation, uh, well, actually. I believe that the show should have a lot more action in my opinion. The animation is colorful and I'm glad the series brought back the voice actors and uh, voice actresses. As for the characters, they're pretty they, they pretty much are the same except I noticed some changes. Um like in the well let's just go through um the the episodes that I've seen so far. Um, the first episode, Legendary Sandwich, where Raven insists Robin, Beast Boy, Starfire, and Cyborg to go find some mystical sandwich that may be better than the sandwich Robin makes while Raven watches Pretty Pretty Pegasus, which, which seems like a reference towards My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So basically, Raven's a brony. <laughs> okay, that's something new. Uh, not to mention Raven was playing with pretty pretty Pegasus toys <laughs> I mean I could see Starfire doing this I definitely could not picture Robin Beast Boy nor Cyborg doing this so apparently Raven's not interested in horror stuff anymore <laughs> that's that's something new um, then also Beast Boy I remember him being a vegetarian but not in this show, especially since he wants to try that legendary sandwich. Wow, that's new. But they never had the opportunity to try the sandwich because Silky ate it. So they'll never know if the sandwich would even be better than Robin's. Uh, next was Pie Bros, where Beast Boy made a drawing of himself as a robot and Cyborg as a dog for Cyborg's birthday. Um, the <laughs> the pie song was uh, pretty funny. We when I say I want, you say pie. I want pie. I want pie. <laughs> it was breaking that down. Okay, but anyways, uh, apparently Cyborg actually wanted a video game. And Beast Boy felt that he probably wouldn't like that Cyborg probably wouldn't like his birthday present of the drawing he made of them together. This caused BB to get a job at that pie place where they eat pie. Mother May Eyes. Yeah. Okay. I thought she was evil, like she was in that one episode of Teen Titans. Yeah. But anyways, uh, BB get a job to get the video game for his best buddy. Cyborg gets disappointed when BB won't be able to join his party because of his work schedule. Although it's at the same pie shop where the gang goes for pie, like I said, and where Beast Boy works, so you're going to see each other either way. <laughs> what kind of crap is that? So anyways, the two, they start fighting and they, um, they throw pies at each other. Cy likes BB's drawing all of a sudden other uh, two and then they are best friends again and that's it okay <laughs> that was pretty interesting uh the second episode was driver's ed robin's license was suspended where he wrecks the batmobile and his friends you know tired of driving him around so he takes a driver's ed class um oh man i like that one um that that one Robin Carr dance like looked like he was beatboxing or something, and Robin broke it down. <laughs> I was laughing my butt off with, oh man, that's hilarious. 
That is just hilarious. Yeah, but M, uh, apparently Robin apparently ends up as a uh, getaway driver due to the driver instructor is up to no good and stuff like that. Dog hand, uh, Raven's father Trigon. Oh yeah, this is great. He uh, pays a little visit to see his only daughter, where he gives her friends powers. <laughs> I, I was laughing my butt off with Starfire using slang. Don't hate the player, but hate the game. Holla. Uh uh. Okay, that's that's some funny ass crap to see Starfire using slang. <laughs> that's hilarious. She should do that more often. And then Beast Boy, he transforming into anything he wants, change into a, a little bean bag. Uh Cyborg has a dog hand on his left hand and Robin is all buff. Yeah. But then they realized that Trigon was really just up to no good like Raven said but they didn't believe him believe her until they pretty tried and pretty much wanted to kill them and then that's when Robin said wait what <laughs> oh yeah now you realize yeah my goodness then there was the third episode double trouble uh, cyborg apparently is tired of playing caveman and di and dinosaurs with Beast Boy, especially Cyborg in that caveman outfit with the tie. I mean, I asked myself, uh, what what is he supposed to be? A uh, a black robotic Fred, Fred Flintstone? <laughs> so he basically tricks Raven to make a clone Cyborg to play with Beast Boy. And of course, I I had to I had a feeling it was gonna come. Uh, eventually, I figured this would happen. Cyborg would get jealous. When the other cyborg and Beast Boy have a close relationship. <laughs> then um he convinces Raven to make a Beast Boy clone. So he can so Cyborg can play with a, B, a Beast Boy clone. Uh-huh. So it's created, but then it gets way too far because more and more cyborg and beast boy clones are created. And then the Beast Boy and Cyborg clones, they kick the gang out. And then they go somewhere and they find out that the the real, the original Beast Boy and Cyborg was somewhere all along playing video games and had, oh my goodness, they just, they just look at a hot mess. They got obese and everything, flies around the place and had still had empty pizza boxes on the floor. I'm like, oh, good grief. So they were there the whole time and they had a feeling that this would backfire and then they sent them somewhere else somewhere out of space or whatever and then that was it and lastly the last episode the date uh in an episode robin apparently wants to you know have the confidence to uh take starfire out on a date and it was funny, you know, Cyborg and Beast Boy looking at the fortune tellers, talking about Beast Boy is going to marry uh, Starfire and have kids and stuff, <laughs> when it was actually for Robin. Like I said, Starfire and Beast Boy would be a nice couple, too. You know, I mean, I like Robin and Starfire, but Beast Boy and Starfire would be a nice couple, too, if you think about it. But anyways, um, he, you know, asks her to go on a date, but apparently she goes on a date with Speedy. Yeah, and uh, Robin gets pissed off and angry about that. So what he pretty much does is he disguises as Speedy, and he gets he captures he kidnaps the real Speedy and ties him up, and he wants Cyborg and Beast Boy to watch to watch him while he uh, goes on a date with Starfire. And they <laughs> Cyborg and Beast Boy crap me up when they kept saying no a whole bunch of times whenever Speedy said, "Let me go now." No, <laughs> that was hilarious. So the only way um, Robin would make Starfire change her mind about Stu Speedy was pretty much act like a an a hole. Yeah, and um, apparently uh, Cyborg and Beast Boy they asked Raven if they could watch Speedy, as Raven would say, like a hawk, while they go out and go get something to eat. And Speedy just apparently finds a way to get untied and go find Robin and Starfire. Yeah, so um, nice watching um, Speedy Raven. I know you like reading your damn books, but come on. If you 
if you're gonna promise Cyborg and Beast Boy that you <laughs> that you're gonna uh watch Speedy, then watch them. But your ass still too busy looking at the book. Come on, Raven. Anyways, Speedy shows up, Robin and um Speedy fight, yada yada yada. And then Starfire changed her mind about Speedy. She falls head over, over heels for Robin. And um, apparently Robin felt guilty. And he felt that it was best to tell the truth instead of still living a lie. So he told Starfire everything that it was him as Speedy in disguise and all that. And then he's probably thinking that Starfire hates him. Oh, well, ha yeah, hates him. And then Star Starfire asked him if he did all this and stuff. Now, this is where Robin shouldn't have smiled so damn quick, okay? D don't be smiling so quick. You can't just assume what you smiling that Starfire is going to forgive you, all right? Pump your brakes a little bit, Robin. And uh, apparently when he smiled, he, he figured that Starfire would forgive him. Wrong. Apparently, Starfire just punched the crap out of him and knocked him out. <laughs> and then it looks like Starfire was about to attack him and she's like are you out of your board Thor I guess that means I guess that's um, alien language for are you are you out of your mind <laughs> but then uh, Rob the voice of Robin's head complimented Starfire and they pretty much go out and then that's it <laughs> the end Oh, and I also like that smooth uh, music that they were playing when um, the voice of uh, Robin's head was giving Starfire flowers and stuff like that. It was nice and smooth. I like that. But anyways, uh, that was pretty much it. Uh, Starfire, um, I think she's pretty much the same in this series. But I don't know. It's something that's just not right about her. Like, for instance, do you honestly think that the real Starfire from the original Teen Titans will actually have the audacity to punch Robin? Even though he messed up, I thought Starfire would probably forgive him, but that ain't happened. Plus, I couldn't believe my eyes in that um, Driver's Ed episode where everybody was laughing because Robin didn't have his driver's license. Starfire even laughed, and she talking about it is it, it, it is enjoyable to laugh at other people's misfortunes, and it makes other people feel better about themselves. What? 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 That doesn't sound like the uh, uh that doesn't sound like Starfire. I could not picture Starfire saying that, making fun of Robin. Uh uh, that does not that does not sound like Starfire. It's like, what are you doing? That's not Starfire. That is not Starfire. And also, Robin seems I don't know so arrogant, a little arrogant on the uh, series as well in this series. Robin, uh, Robin was never like that in the original Teen Titans, as we all know. You know, Robin was the cool, mm, pretty much laid back, down to earth, nice guy. You know, s you know, serious about uh, getting the job done and saving the world and stuff. Type leader. That that was Robin. But in this show, he's a little arrogant. But they, I, I, I get it. Obviously, they did it. Be you know because it's pretty much more comedy in this series but I think the characters are, should pretty much still be the same like the original Teen Titans I mean you can still have some comedy in it but don't change their personalities a little bit is all I'm saying so but besides all that Teen Titans Go it's, it's a pretty good show you know it's it's okay it's better than the original Teen Titans hell no it's not even close but um it's just a pretty good show. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm just glad that you know, it's great to see the Teen Titans back on Cartoon Network. It is. I mean, like I said, this wasn't the actual show that I was expecting. I thought, um, I thought the show would be a little bit different. But hey, it's all right. You know, it has its funny moments. Like I said. Now I also saw Ben Looney's rant on the Teen Titans Go. Now, I do have to agree on something about Starfire and Raven and their chibi forms. Like you said, you know, the guys enjoy seeing Starfire with, you know, her stomach showing half naked and stuff and Raven's legs showing and stuff. I have to agree on that because 
in their chibi forms i mean yeah starfire stomach shows a little bit but it doesn't show a, a lot because she's in her chibi form she's not in her original form like an original teen titans the same with raven in her chibi form her legs be showing but not much it's like what the hell i mean i mean i i enjoy starfire's tummy showing you know especially in that sexy purple outfit and those purple long boots spicy i also enjoy seeing raven's legs i mean raven has some sexy pale legs look at them legs good grief smack that all night ow <laughs> And also, she doesn't even show her face in her chibi form in the Teen Titans Go series. It's like, what's up with that? I mean, you better take that hoodie off and show off your cute face. Raven's face was so cute and pretty in the uh, in the Teen Titans original series. Heck, I, she was even uh, cuter when she got angry, especially when angry with her eyes closed and or whenever she had a red mark on her head. That was she just so freaking cute. Yeah, but I do uh, agree agree with him on that one. But as far as all that, he did a pretty good job on the rant. But anyways, this has been my thoughts on the Teen Titans Go series. Uh, tell me your thoughts. Did you expect this kind of show for the Teen Titans Go? Uh, you know, what do you think about the characters and the episodes? And, you know, do you think the show is pretty funny and all that, whatever? Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say. Goodbye.